Please arise for the national anthem, followed by the invocation presented by Libby Guidry, class of 23. Our Father, as Aggies come together in all parts of the world, we pause to praise Thee for the many material and spiritual blessings of past years. We are humbly grateful for our Aggie heritage and the comradeship we enjoy. Strengthen this sense of our God-given love and friendship. May it spread to men and women of all schools, nations, and races, and bring people of the world into a new bond of friendship and peace. Fill with Thy presence the circle of our friendship that is broken by an absence in our roll call. May we have a reverent appreciation for the great examples and sacrifices given by those of us whom we honor by silver taps. Bless the inspiration of this occasion that we may be strong in body, keen in mind, friendly in society, and religious at heart. Through that grace we pray, amen. Howdy, my name is Shelley Fordyce, class of 99, and I'm the Director of Student Activities for Texas A&M University at Galveston and the Muster Chair for the Galveston County A&M Club. I would like to start by thanking the many students who have dedicated their time over the last couple weeks to provide the Aggies of Galveston County with a muster in such an unusual time in our world. We hope that you enjoy the program this evening. At this time, I'm pleased to introduce Colonel Mike Fossum, class of 80, Galveston campus COO and vice president of Texas A&M University. Howdy. Much like you, I don't think I've ever done a virtual muster. Your presence here demonstrates your commitment to both Texas A&M University at Galveston and your fellow Aggies by the Sea. I love our elaborate muster ceremony on the Galveston campus and the gathering of dear friends and family members, but it's not the size of the gathering that matters. It's simply that we join together with other Aggies on this day, wherever we are, however we are able. I've attended many muster ceremonies through the years. One of my most memorable was in divided West Berlin during the heart of the Cold War when I joined four other Aggies to remember those we had lost. It was a somber occasion given the great challenge our country faced, but also one of celebration of our shared connection of Aggies, of, as Aggies, a bond that unites us regardless of time, culture, distance, and religion. It is this Aggie spirit that brings us together, despite our distance, as it has for over 100 years, as Aggies across the globe stand present in the absence of those we have lost, no matter where we may be. Tonight, we continue to find ways to celebrate the lives of those we've lost and take great joy in the spirit that connects us as members of the worldwide Aggie Network. Over the past several weeks, I've witnessed overwhelmingly this spirit that makes us so unique. Spirit that makes us family. It's something this took most of my time as a student to fully understand. The same lifelong lessons I learned about camaraderie, loyalty, and teamwork during my first year as a student are taking place every second of every day, not only on the Galveston campus of Texas A&M, but worldwide as we come together in the face of what I hope is a once in a lifetime global phenomenon. Gathered tonight, 
guided by the same siren call that all Aggies hear on April 21st. I'm reminded of my first Aggie muster 43 years ago, just when I thought I had all this Aggie stuff figured out. I knew what muster was, but I didn't really have a happy clue when I entered G. Raleigh White Coliseum in College Station, where the main campus was held. In addition to students, I saw families and friends gathering, some talking and laughing, others crying and holding each other tightly. As they called the roll, the voices in the crowd answered here. I was witnessing something profound and almost beyond comprehension. The realization hit me that someday, hopefully many years in the future, my name too would be on that roll call. I finally understood. You're not an Aggie only during the short time you're a student. You're an Aggie for life. And even after your days are done, you're still an Aggie as long as your loved ones are there to answer for you. I finally understood. It's camaraderie, loyalty, and teamwork, leadership and integrity, humility, dignity, and pride, duty and honor, love and respect, not mere words, but a way of life. That's what it means to be a Texas Aggie. Remembering and honoring the Aggies who have gone before us, our family, friends, and loved ones, is what this day is all about. Since last year's muster, we have added over 1,600 Aggies to the muster roll. This includes 24 Sea Aggies from our campus. They came from all walks of life, but one is deeply personal, as tonight we will call the name of Cadet Jonas Calhoun, class of 20, who we lost last fall. Let us remember the many Aggies who have answered our country's call to service and will muster as the sun sets on Iraq, Afghanistan, Africa, and elsewhere in the world where our nation's security might be threatened. They will muster in mess halls, officers' clubs, in tents, and at sea. They are in a different world, and yet we are connected to them as they call their own roll call and answer here for fellow Aggies. I pray each one of them will be safely returned home to their families. Speaking to you, to you today is a great moment for me personally, and it comes during an important time for the Galveston campus as we endeavor to preserve and protect that which makes Texas A&M unique. As Association of Former Students Executive Secretary E.E. E. McQuillan, class of 1920, said in 1923, the size of the muster is not important. The spirit that brings Aggies together this one night of the year is the vital element. Our university, our country, and our world have undergone tremendous changes over the years and those changes have rapidly accelerated as we deal with a global pandemic. The way we live, learn, work, and play has fundamentally changed, and we must adapt as the entire world reels and changes before our eyes. To keep our balance, we must always remember we are part of something much larger than ourselves. It is a vital responsibility of each of us to carry that Aggie spirit forward and preserve it for generations so that they might gather together for hundreds of musters to come. There are times in life when the most precious gift you can give another human being is the gift of your simple presence. To the family of those we have lost, we are fully present and trust you can feel the arms of the Aggie family holding you close to our hearts. Thank you for sharing that spirit and for gathering with us this evening. We are blessed to be Aggies by the sea in countless ways. Among these is the comfort of having a room full of Aggies, even if we are temporarily scattered, to answer here at our journey's end. Thank you. Good night, God bless, and gigam. Thank you, Colonel Fossum. Today, we are called together to celebrate the lives of Aggies that have passed and reflect upon our time spent at Texas A&M a tradition that is now celebrated in more than 375 locations worldwide.
Brandon Saldivar, class of 21, will recite Margaret Rudder's poem, Aggie Muster Day. And then Braden Johnson, class of 21, will share the history of muster and how the tradition came to be. We gather here to mark the day Aggies proudly stand, to honor those who've gone before to the promised land. Each name is called upon the roll, comrades answer here. Trumpets sound their sad goodbye to those we held so dear. All heads are bowed in silent pledge never to forget. While rifles fire their last salute, echoes answer yet. To their memory will be true, we will take their place. One for all and all for one ever in thy grace. We'll meet again another day, reunion while we pray, to ask thy blessing on each one on this muster day, Aggie muster day. History of muster. Aggies gathered together on June 26, 1883 to live over again their college days, the victories and defeats won and lost upon the drill field and in the classroom. By April 21st, 1903, this annual gathering evolved into a celebration of Texas independence on San Jacinto Day. These early meetings included field games and banquets for Aggies to reflect and celebrate their memories of Aggie land. Let every alumni answer a roll call, wrote the former students. It was not until 1922, however, that April 21st became the official day of events for all Aggies. Thus, the annual tradition of muster was born. The March 1923 Texas Aggie urged, if there is an A&M man within 100 miles of you, you are expected to get together, eat a little, and live over the days that you spent at the A&M College of Texas. Still remembering and honoring the time spent in Aggieland, the tradition of muster has grown in strength, meaning, and spirit. By 1929, the meetings had spread worldwide, and in 1942, Aggie Muster gained international recognition. Twenty-five men, led by General George Moore, class of 1908, mustered during the Japanese siege of the Philippine island of Corregidor. Knowing that muster might soon be called for them, these Aggies embodied the commitment, dedication, and friendship that is the essence of the Aggie spirit. They risked their lives to honor their beliefs and values. That small group of Aggies on an outpost during World War II inspired what has developed into one of our greatest traditions. Muster is celebrated in more than 300 places worldwide, and the ceremony brings together more Aggies worldwide on one occasion than any other event. Muster is a time to look to the past, present, and future, not only to grieve, but to reflect and to celebrate the lives that connect us to one another. A gesture so simple in nature, yet so lasting in spirit. Muster is the lasting impression every Aggie leaves with us. It reminds us of the greatness that lies within these walls, of the loyalty we possess, the connection that binds us, and of, the, and of the idea that every Aggie has a place of importance, whether they are present in flesh or spirit. Now, please welcome Jacob Pondshock, class of 20, for the reading of The Last Core Trip. It was Judgment Day in Aggie Land, and tenseness filled the air. All knew there was a trip at hand, but not a soul knew where. Assembled on the drill field was the world-renowned 12th man, the entire fighting Aggie team, and the famous Aggie band. And out in front with Royal Guard, the reviewing party stood. St. Peter and his angel staff were choosing bad from good. First he surveyed the Aggie team, and in terms of an angel swore, By Jove, I do believe I've seen this gallant group before. I've seen them play since way back when, and they've always had the grit. I've seen him lose and I've seen him win, but I've never seen him quit. No need for us to tarry here, deciding upon their fates. Tis plain as the halo on my head, they've opened heaven's gates. And when the twelfth man heard this, they let out a mighty yell that echoed clear to heaven and shook the gates of hell. Now what group is this upon this side? St. Peter asked his aide. That swelled as if the burst with pride when we are, when we are judgment made. Why, sir, that's a cadet corps. It's known both far and wide for backing up their fighting team, whether they won, lost, or tied. Well then, said St. Peter, tis very plain to me that within the realms of heaven they shall spend eternity. And have the Texas Aggie Band at once commence to play, for their fates too we must decide upon this crucial day. And the drum major so hearing slowly raised his hand and said, Boys, let's play the spirit for the last time in Aggie Land. And the band poured forth the anthem, in notes both bright and clear. And ten thousand Aggie voices sang the song they hold so dear. And when the band had finished, St. Peter wiped his eyes and said, 
it's not so hard to see they're meant for paradise. And the colonel of the cadet corps said, as he stiffly took his stand, it's just another corps trip, boys. We'll march in behind the band. And now it is time for the most hallowed part of muster, roll call. Alfonso Mendoza, class of 18, will read roll call for the absent. And Laura Westerlidge, class of 21, will call the roll of our departed comrades. Following the roll call ceremony, Reagan Trimmy, class of 21, will read the poem, Silver Taps. And finally, Tsar Zerlinski, class of 22, will read in memoriam. In many lanes and climes this April day, proud sons of Texas A&M unite. Our loyalty to country, school we pay and seal our pact with bond of common might. We live again those happy days of yore on campus, field, in classroom, hall, at drill. Fond memory brings a sigh, but nothing more. Now we are men, and life is one a great thrill. On Fortress Isle, 78 years ago today, a group of gallant Aggies led by Moore held simple rights to which us all doth say, the spirit shall prevail or cannon roar. They thought of home and all we hold most dear. Where are they now, those boys we knew so well? Ask of the winds, let smile repress a tear. Think only of their glory when they fell. Corregidor, forevermore a hallowed name, to countless sons of Texans yet unborn. Symbolic like, it stands for deathless fame, a shrine sublime till resurrection more. Softly call the muster, let comrade answer here, their spirits hover round us. As if to bring us cheer, mark them present in our hearts, we'll meet some other day. There is no death, but life etern, for heroes such as they. Mr. Charles Cyrus, class of 1930. Mrs. Vivian Cyrus, class of 1932. Mr. James McGibbony, class of 1932. Mr. Horace Simpson, class of 1949. Mr. Douglas Scott, class of 1954. Mr. Wilfred Brueger, Jr., class of 1958. Mr. James Latimer, Jr., class of 1961. Dr. Robert Weatherold, class of 1962. Lieutenant Colonel Howard Griffin, class of 1970. Mr. Allen Lockhart, class of 1971. Mr. Glenn Handel, class of 1972. Mrs. Kathleen Fisher, class of 1974. Mrs. Gladys Kuntz, class of 1977. Mr. Douglas McCormick, class of 1978. Dr. Frederick Schlemmer II, class of 1978. Mr. Gary Conklin, class of 1980. Mr. Randolph Trout, class of 1988.
Mr. Andrew Abrahamson, class of 1991. Dr. Charles Gillespie, class of 1993. Dr. Richard Okoluise, class of 1996. Dr. James Airy, class of 1997. Mrs. Sarah Durkowski, class of 2001. Mr. Matthew Lewis, class of 2013. Mr. Jonas Calhoun, class of 2019.
Silently they gather, moving shadows under restless trees, tight lips boys, full by day of rough, true comradeship, have nothing to say tonight. Clustered in hundreds, rough the old main building. They come to bid last farewell. To a fellow Aggie whose footsteps may never tread the campus paths again. Silently they wait, gazing far up at the dome, rounded against the midnight sky. The hour strikes and four straight young figures move to the corners of the turret raising silver trumpets to their lips, and then tearing at the heart as does no other sound, the notes come clear and sweet and sad. Silver taps for one more Aggie who has gone to join the bright battalion in the sky where brave young men need never die. Then as the last long unearthly note fades into the night, the cold, dark silence burst, and guns send forth their final grim salute. Stand at attention, Aggies. Once more, we honor them. The Silver Taps Battalion of Texas A&M. We stood a little taller and a little prouder then when we heard the call of muster and the roll call just began. We stood there all together and wiped away the tears when our names were called out softly and answered with a hear. And so we've joined together with our brothers of the past to make our final resting place at Aggieland our last. We take a toast to our brotherhood wherever they may roam. For us, the trek is over. Aggieland, we're coming home. The 2020 Texas A&M muster in Galveston County is completed. I charge each of you to remain firm in your loyalty to your country and to your God and to keep warm in your hearts your affection for each other and for Texas A&M. The muster is dismissed until April 21st, 2021. May God be with you all until we meet again.